Oh, yeah, they can see oh, him. You see him? It's not free. There, it's that's not free. That's got to be Solari, That's right? where they land. They take the that's back exactly. buildings. This is the same exact engagement for all four games. They land north-south and then meet in the middle. And I love, actually, Mega is being a little bit risky here, but pushing forward and making sure that he controls at least, you know, they're a trying building. to take more of what they normally can to, to kind of contain them a little bit. You see the split full on north and south here. Happy Hamlet, Mega stealing Hunter, basically a build. Watching. There it is. Oh, oh no! Woo. He was looking right from the angle right there. And, and you think about it, you're in Mega's position. You can't tell. If he's there, the, the angle, you just can't see it. It looks unscathed. It's kind of a misplay here to go out to the side. He could have gone out the back. Oh, he so Hunter blanc. taking a huge opportunity. He takes ah, it with the Jean -Bas. I think it was the AR that he was using against him. But Attends, already non, things are looking sour for Dubs Mega and AJ. And the loot, the loot here is so good. Just getting all the shield extra heals up. If he can get a close no. quarter weapon, they're going to be in such a great position to make a move. Mega still way, way dangerous as far as his positioning goes. He's dangerously close to the other trio. I think they might want to stalemate this, but another thing that's so good about the Dubs Mega split here up on the north side is they can no? easily take control of the clock tower. The biggest positions wait, wait of strength here in Happy Hamlet. This is kind of how these early games go. You yeah. have to think about what are the best positions, Where? what has the best loot, and what can you steal? From your opponent's mega so far, only stealing one house. Can you guys get to make the loot? Nobody yeah. has fallen yet in oh, the, the lobby. Here, 90 players up. Nobody in early game. They're playing so cautious. You think there's yeah. any chance one of these squads gets looted enough that they try to bail instead of take the engagement? Oh, without a doubt. No one wants to go down now. There's too much riding on the line. This engagement already out. is yeah. a lot. Exactly. And that was what they were doing in game one and two. That's how they skated out. They no. used... The rotation. Come back in five. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're saying boo. You're come saying back come back in five. In five. You want to see action? I'm, <laughs> I'm like, thank goodness, because guess what? We get to see both of these teams in the end game. Make the their mid-game game. rotation and attempt to get in the end game. Now yeah. another fight that's been unfolding every time and very important, guys. I, I don't think we realize how high Pika, Rex, and Tina are on the leaderboard. Yeah, they're up there. They're up in that top ten. And all because this early game fight against Parfit, Tifu, and Flyer has been going in their favor. And they've been going up into the end game, successfully finding the eliminations. Right. Last game, they were on high ground early, remember? Last time we tuned in with them, Flyer was down immediately off the bat. Shield bubble down. Off the Fuck gate, it. they were taken out here. Chucking a couple of shield bubbles. Giving himself a little space, a little safety bubble. Make sure they can take care of these farm that shit, cubes man. here and hopefully get some loot out of it, right? Get a pylon. Yep. That's exactly what it is, getting the pylon. He's basically throwing the bubbles down so he can take the grapple down, which is what he wants normally, but also he's creating a path for himself to get towards those pylons. And that actually kind of made an issue for them in the second game, where Tina, Pika, and Rex had the huge kind of three-pronged attack on them where they got the snipe early on because they were so centered on these pylons. But what I'm thinking so far is I don't think oh, yeah, they're contested yeah. here. I don't think Pika, Rex, and, and uh, Tina are here. And if, if they are, the they're not looking to push bro. right now. Should, Maybe they're match. counting their early blessings and saying, you know what, we won so many of these engagements. Yep. That's okay. Take the small victory. Work a different route. It's, it's the last game. Okay, it's, it's so risky. Every time you're fighting TP Parker and, and Flyer, you're, you're taking a huge chance. I'm rocking this grapple. Well, while these guys much. loop in our retail row, let's take a, a listen well. to a word We're from our sponsors. Like, should you get you I have one of those phones sitting right in front of me right now. It's gorgeous. Oh, this is such a big fight. Mr. Savage, Rohan, and King Richard, they're up there in the standings. It's a three-way, too. Colin Frags, Kayun, and Myth. Are down tens. there, and then the vi Vitality guys, the okay. French. I'm dropping a big. I'm on the Top side tens. of the map. This is crazy. This is a huge battle. Yoli's getting the angle here on Rojo. Mr. Savage firing from the side. Gotaga poising up, axing, actually. No, no, Mr. No. Savage's roof right there probably has control of it. Nice side jump. Let's oh, guard no down. Hello. No Meet one. the pump. Big 95. Oh, hello. Savage comes back above, down. Above. They're all the same skin. Like... You hear him say it right there, they're all the same skin, hard to make a call out, but someone's hurt. 
fight still going on. Guys, I'm going to go for a play, okay? I love do the call-out. I love the call-out. Not being a rogue here. Letting them know he might do something risky. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's common no. frags in Kayun. They take revenge on Mr. Savage. He knocked them earlier. It's all up to Rojo and King Richard now to grab that card and possibly bring them back into the game. He's got the minigun. Let his guard down. Bro, he got man. one pumped. Went for that window, and it's going to be the end. Myth also trying to make a play on the back. But meanwhile, the Taka Hawkers and Killis, they're still up on high ground. That was the they problem. He forgot about the team below. Colin Frags opened up that edit and made him pay for it. And now suddenly, Gotaga and his team are in the best spot here. They have the most players up. They have control of where they want to push. They can very well get multiple elims right now from both sides. Ooh. Meanwhile, yeah, make that there's a three-way fight also going on with Booga, Pika, and Elevate and Cease. Wow. Which is a huge one. Elevate and Cease versus Pika and Rex. That could be a standing shakeup too. Booga's going to catch Rux Ooh. in the feed. Pump shot right there. Gitaga looking for the edit. Can he find it? Colin Frags really holding down the three players on his own here while Myth is trying to back off his backside to the other players nearby. That oh, one, that one, that one. Coming from behind, actually, one more, one more player getting involved. It's Monster who comes up. I can't believe how many teams are up on the north side corner edge of the map. The longer the fight goes on, the more likely there are for players to come through. Another team is going to join the battle here, which is crazy. Cats the quick thirst. He's going to uh, find the card. What? Now moving on to Zexro. He's got a position in zone, but it looks like he's trying to creep up towards a fight, possibly a third party I'm opportunity. I'm taking it from him. Says he's gonna Be take careful. this height right here, but they have it, they have he's it. gonna they challenge have it. him. Besides, you know what? Never mind. See how instantly he switches to brick when he decides right, to box up? He was on wood and silly when he's boxing up. <gasps> but gets the goal through! And nice! One dead, one dead, That's one dead. Dubs. Wow. That's so huge! Dubs unfortunately goes down! It's a huge play from Zexro to trap him in that cone, replace the floor, and then get him in the phase. Unfortunately, really nothing Dubs could kill. have done. There's nothing he can do about it, like you said here. Remember, they're out of the running, or at least Dubs is, which can really shape up the rest of the board here as anyone's game. 2v3, someone's going to get knocked there, though. We see it in the feed here. One, one HP, now it's a big follow-up. Calls out the 1 HP. Here comes the pressure, firing through the builds. They can't get him, but the pinch. Look at the side by sides waiting for the edit. Zexo's willing to trade the that, shot that. here. Slap is so hurt. They're all no shield. Mega doing a great job as is Ajo on defense. Oh. No, Mega's gonna get opened up with a double heavy snipe. Of a skeleton down oh. below. Nice drop down from South. That's on fresh. He didn't, even, he didn't even finish it. He's just going, playing for position and set. That's yeah, huge, though. He could have got so much materials, which he needs. He's only at 140. That's what I'm saying. I gotta pick those up. Yep. They still have height, though. They'll possibly find some more. No, Zeke goes down. Scatch, come to me if you can. Zap calling for Scatch here. They need to get together. Minigun. Scatch in the zone right now. No builds remaining. Is trying to work. With you what he can, he cannot yeah. cross up yeah, and over. He's so shambles right now. I got a knock again. That flick right there actually goes around. to him. That's another huge one. Just waiting for it. Saf picking up one as well. Doing oh. what he can. Saf goes down though, unfortunately, yeah. after trading. Well, let me fuck. I'm no man. There's the uh. trade. Can he get this? No, not just yet. Oh. No. Norward oh. picks it up. Booga's still alive. I'm thinking Benji Fishy might be alive as well. Who's on high ground? It's edgy, scented. Alouette went down. That was their third. So it's got two. Down below, gun, gun. looking up, looking down. Pika's okay. still up. He just got two in the feed. Only nine left. Now eight. Okay. On me, on me, on me. Pika holding it down by himself. These guys have so much loot. I don't think they're going to be giving up this high ground. Here goes Pika. The show is on now. As he needs to stay in the running to take this in the final moment. To low ground he goes. He still has material, though, Bola. Ten eliminations so far in the game. He's pushing himself up towards the top of that. The minigun from Edgy is all the way up, and he's going to be in trouble if he can't get away and down onto ultimate low, because they're tracking him by himself, though. Got, got a heavy sniper. He can get right into a box. He's got zone favor exactly. He's got it. He's got it all going on. It's in his favor. Five players remaining. We know two are above with the high ground. Benji Fishy, the other two, with nowhere nearby. The shotgun shots are trading out. This minigun no. is the worst-case scenario. Pika's going to go down. And now we're looking at the next 2v2. 
Edgy up on high ground was sent to down below against Norwood and Benji. It's a full 2v2. They're getting sprayed back with the minigun down from low ground. And all wait, of a sudden, wait, 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 the minigun wait, 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 comes through. He, 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 he took high ground, though. He's somehow on the high here. You can see the grapple comes out. Now they're just going to go down. They're going to give up this position. Oh, Benji's going to eat the big pump. What happened? The bouncer from everybody yeah, coming I'm, through. Oh, shooting height again. Just there he is. Tried to get me some gold. In the shotgun. It's all up to Norwood. Looking like a toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Minigun cooking, he's going to go. the top down. Can he connect? Oh, he's stuck in a metal box. He's stuck. One more tick. No! no! Incredible! He got the one, but Edgy finishes it off for the win. Can you imagine? He gets that knock. It was so close. Him, gets back in the zone. So close, but sent it Edgy. When they get high ground with the minigun, they're almost unstoppable. That's exactly what you want to see. Edgy's so happy in the center there. His new NRG gear. And that's the last game of the day to win out there. Here's the final moments. The trades with the bouncers were so interesting from Edgy Norwood and company. Sentin, look how much HP he had down on low ground. Look at how close this was. Just a little bit more, and it would have went a different way right there. He just didn't even have anything left. Oh. Edgy's perspective. Back up, back up, back up. Every single time he went up, he oh got a my. shot. That's on Benji. Went down the zone eventually, even got a couple of tags here. I was wondering, where were these tags coming from? Because I felt like they were coming from high, but he was down below. Just a layers game right there. Even reading the zone under this intense circumstance, going around right there with two ticks on the zone. That close. A game of pixels, milliseconds, frames. You could count them in single digits. Those are the ones that matter there. And wow, Edgy will take the victory for his team.